Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this beautiful 2023 Polestar 2 Plus that we have for sale. One awesome, completely all-electric sedan, hatchback, crossover. It's kind of a little bit of a both. It's a category killer in certain ways. It has a profile of a sedan, but it has a lift back, and it has a little bit higher ride height than a normal sedan, so it's almost like a crossover. So while some might think it's a competitor to like the Tesla Model 3, uh, this is actually more of a closer competitor to the uh, larger Tesla Model Y. A Polestar is a spin-off of the Volvo brand. Polestar is now uh, an all-electric uh, standalone brand. It uses a lot of uh, similar architecture as some of the Volvo EVs. Uh, styling is very distinctly Volvo. Uh, the electric platform is shared with Volvo as well. It's an amazing vehicle. I'm a fan of electric vehicles. We sell lots of EVs at Infinity of Tacoma. Uh, we have a very big premium business. We sell a good portion, probably about 10%, if not more, of our business is selling pre-owned EVs from Teslas, Volvos, uh, plug-in hybrids like you know Chrysler Pacificas, uh, Volvo XC90s, uh, obviously Polestars. Um, we, we've sold a little bit of everything over the years. I own an EV myself. I have a Tesla Model 3. I'm a big fan of Teslas. I think, you know, they're kind of the king of the hill as far as EV brands go. You know, they sell more EVs than anyone else. But I'm also very uh, impressed with the Polestar. Maybe if I didn't get my Model 3, another one probably close on my next uh, list would be the uh, Polestar 2. I'm very impressed with the styling. And if you're not crazy about Teslas, you're not crazy about Elon, uh, you know, when I bought my Tesla two years ago, uh, there weren't that many Model 3s, there weren't many Teslas on the road, but now they're everywhere. So you don't feel quite as special in your Model 3 or Model Y. So if you want to stand out a little bit from the rest of the EV crowd, something a little bit different as far as styling goes, a little bit of a breath of fresh air, you should check out the Polestar. This is a Polestar 2. So uh, normally the uh, Polestar uh, has uh, come standard with just uh, one electric motor, so it's front wheel drive. This has dual electric motors, so it has a motor in the front and the motor in the back, making it all-wheel drive. It also is like having two engines, so it's really fast. So it's a lot faster than the front-wheel drive. The front-wheel drive, 0 to 60, is like 6.8 seconds, 10 under 7 seconds. With the dual motors, it goes all the way down to about 4 seconds. This has a combined output of uh, over 400 horsepower. This thing is a sleeper sports car. You could put a lot of purpose-built gas sports car to shame in a drag race. Uh, it's hilariously fast. It's very entertaining, but when it comes to passing and merging on the highway, it makes a big difference. You know, have you ever had that? Uh, you know, when you're going to change lanes and that person behind you starts speeding up to not let you in. I'm sure you've seen those annoying people. Well, guess what? <laughs> you just hit the throttle and you can make room. They're not, you know, some gas car trying to speed up and not let you in. They're going to have a hard time doing that in a car like this because you're a lot faster than them before. Uh, so merging on the highway, you uh, you know, speed in certain ways can be a, an advantage in situations like that where, you know, people uh, aren't making room for you to merge or pass. Well, you can, you can find the space with a vehicle of this much power. And, you know, performance is instantaneous. A gas car, sometimes to think about what's geared to downshift into, uh, the engine has to rev to the power band with an EV. A performance EV like this, you have instantaneous throttle response. It happens instantly. Uh, so it's very different, very refreshing. So this is a plus model. You have this nice uh, noise insulated uh, panoramic roof. You have this uh, vegan uh, cloth material, very nice. Uh, you have ambient lighting. And I think you also have the ability to set up your uh, phone as a key, which is nice. Um, this is powered by Google, uh, the infotainment system. Um, so it's really nice, really intuitive to use. So if you like Google, Google Maps and stuff like that, this thing is fantastic. Um, uh, the touch screen is kind of like Tesla-esque. There's no on and off button. It senses a proximity key. You just get in, put it in drive, and go. You can take the control over the feel of the vehicle, the steering feel. You can uh, make it kind of act like a regular car. Some people don't like the regenerative braking. I like it because you can drive with one pedal and it makes it more efficient because instead of using the actual brakes, it uses the electric motors to slow down, which will save on your brake life. That's the thing that people don't realize with EVs is that you're not just going to save money on electricity versus gas. Uh, you know, I, I probably pay about 50, 60 bucks a month to charge my EV versus a couple hundred months in gas. But the other money saver is maintenance. There's no complex internal combustion engine, no emission system, no uh, all-wheel drive differentials to service. 
uh, a battery and electric motors are very simple. You have dozens of moving parts versus an internal combustion engine vehicle that has thousands of moving parts. So uh, servicing is basically changing like air filters, changing tires. That's pretty much it. You know, the uh, electric motors aren't going to need oil changes. They're not going to need timing belts. Uh, you know, they're not going to have valves that are going to get all messed up. You're not going to have a complex emission control system that can send fault codes. Or you're not going to have someone underneath your car trying to steal your catalytic converter because there isn't one. Um, and with brakes, uh, with, the, with generative braking, you get 150, 200,000 miles out of brakes. And brakes can be expensive, especially on a more high-end vehicle like this. Front pads and rotors could be $1,500, $2,000, depending on you know where you go or what type of, you know if you go OEM or aftermarket. Um, so yeah, you can save a lot of money in maintenance. So we have a nice uh, reverse camera for excellent visibility. You have also a 360 version. It's like a drone flying all around the vehicle. Great for low speed maneuvering. I love the feel of the steering wheel. Nice uh, information display center right here. We have adaptive cruise control, steering assist. A great sounding Harman Kardon audio system too. That also comes with a plus package. Very comfortable and supportive seats. I love the styling on the Polestar. Uh, obviously, it's definitely uh, Volvo inspired. A little bit different. Obviously, there's no Volvo badges on this one, but you can definitely see the design influence in that uh, from the Volvo family. Really a sharp looking vehicle. Since there's no engine up here, got a little extra storage. Nice looking wheel and tire package. Nice, uh, a lot of space back here. Being a sedan, you'll have rear heated seats. Nice clean styling on the rear. And more importantly, uh, like I said at a glance, it looks like a sedan, but we have a power rear lift gate, which is much more practical than a sedan of a trunk. You have more usable cargo space. You can remove this cargo area cover. You have a cargo pass-through, but you can also fold down those rear seats for lots of cargo space. And on top of that, since there's no gas tank, uh, you have more storage under here. There is the battery charger, so you can uh, have an adapter for a 210 or 220 outlet. A 220 outlet is going to be preferable. You'll get a full charge overnight, about seven to eight hours. You can DC fast charge it. You can get a full charge from a dead battery to about 80% in about 40 minutes. There's lots of DC fast chargers popping up everywhere. Really beautiful vehicle. We have some great promotions going on right now. Complimentary delivery to Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. We can put this on our car hauler. We can tow it to you. So for mobile delivery services, beautiful Polestar 2 can be like yours without leaving your neighborhood or your driveway. I got a little fan up there. <laughs> Whenever I shoot videos in this area, we got that lovely little crow squawking at me. That's okay. We like birds here at Infinity of Tacoma. We like crows. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.